I'm popping my chest. Thou shall not pass, except use the discipline stick for Shay and Shay only. <laughs> and I may poke him in the eye with it. Guys, we're back. The Match Hat Podcast. Yours truly, Paul Ciano, Christopher Shea, Cousin Frank, Peter Oberg, producer extraordinaire. We're back. Awesome topic matter today. Dr. Shea, do it. All right. It's been presented to me on multiple occasions. And by multiple occasions, I mean people walk me I'll be at the gym, someone will come up to me and go, hey. I'll be walking down the street, someone, someone will say, Chris, come here for a second. I'll be in the jiu-jitsu studio. Come here, i got to ask you a question. What does Paul have on you? And I go, what are you talking about? Like, what does he have on you that he hits you with sticks, he attacks <laughs> you? I go, he has nothing on me outside of friendship for 42 years, and at the end of the day, if someone needs to bury a body with me, he's the guy I call. So for all you guys who aren't sure what we have on each other, it's called true friendship. It's, and unfortunately, I think that's a big problem with today. No one has that one guy or those couple guys that they can go to anymore. There's so much judgment going around the world that no one can trust anybody. Well, what do you think that is? Not me. Well, you know, I can trust somebody. Now you can get married. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're real good. <laughs> although, although we'd be a tight shirt you had on did look pretty we'd nice be a, you, but... I can tell you if they ever did an odd couple man, we'd be a fucked up it'd be a funny fucking show yes, no, what's that. your pronoun I, I identify as a music this popsicle. motherfucker could be sleeping out in there dump shit on him and trust me don't think and don't think that and I'm not being Felix because I don't know how to clean that's all I'm saying I'm a cleanly I'm a cleanly motherfucker you'd, you'd be no Felix I'll be Oscar I'm fine with that but what I'm saying is that to his point, he's a thousand percent correct. And don't think, I want to preface something. If I if he needed to use a discipline stick against me, I'll take it. I've been punched in the grill. <laughs> I've been fish hooked by him, trust me. I've been kicked. It happens. It's just what I I think what you don't get is is that he gets more entertainment out of eliciting the response out of me than anything else. And that's crazy. <laughs> People come up to me and say, do you really say that stuff because you mean it? I'm like, yeah, no, not really. I just know how he's going to respond to it. Again. There's certain, there's definitely certain topic matters that are taboo that I don't want to hear about, and he doesn't give a shit. He, likes he just wants to, he wants to see the reaction I, to there it. There it is. And I need to see the reaction. Watch the reaction, and, and don't, and let's face it, guys and gals out there, you do too, because all I hear, we're out, like, we're at, we're at a wrestling tour in Jersey, what last month, yep. and one, one of the wrestling coaches is like, I love it. I love when Shay does his shit and watching your face. He goes, it's the funniest thing I ever saw. And the best part about it is yeah. it's so genuine because he really doesn't like it. I don't like it. And you're naturally you may that think, weird. You yeah. may think that he's like just putting this on. He's not. I'm not. I, don't I like know it. what buttons to push and I push him as much as I can. <laughs> because I know I get a free pass. Exactly. I have a, when it comes to him, I have... A get out of jail free card. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a wife. Yeah, but it, he's right. And, 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 and it's not really a get out of free jail card. It's more like a get a stick in your back card. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> it's like you know, he's it, basically he's right. He has permission to do that. It's like it's like when I threatened to shoot him with rock salt. I don't want to kill him. No, I don't want to maim him. I just want him to feel some pain for a short period of time. Maybe maybe you know? some slight bruising yeah, that exactly. we can photograph. You know, and I would do it from a distance because you can kill somebody with rock salt shells. <laughs> I mean, you got to do it from a distance. So, like, listen, it's like when we were kids and someone got hurt, everyone laughed. Everyone you, you, before laughed. you even asked if they were okay, <laughs> okay. you laughed. You were laughing <laughs> and pointing fingers. Ah, you know, exactly. Everyone did it. And I'm talking to the old school out there. Don't lie. You did it too. A hundred percent. And you still do it to this day. I, my kids do that. Hell, I have gotten hurt and I've seen oh, my yeah. own kids start giggling oh, yeah. outside of my daughter who's, I love and she's my favorite. <laughs> um, but outside of her, she's the only one who really cares to make sure I'm okay. My other sons are like, ah! <laughs> yeah. are you okay, daddy? No, oh, that's it. They, yeah. you, they want remember. The discomfort of others is Brings pleasure for everybody else. <laughs> But let, let's, let's be honest, though. You know it as well as I know it. Everybody out there should. If you don't, shame on you. If you don't, you need to find that person. But everyone should have that one guy, that one friend, or maybe those couple of buddies right. that you can count on, come thick or thin. And the way I always describe it is this is what I say. The guys you're going to get out of the car with. Your friend's an asshole. 
He's drunk. He hit on the guy's wife. The guy is a fraternity member. You know he jumped out of the car. You know there's going to be 20 guys there in two seconds that are going to whoop his ass, and you're going to be crawled up in a ball getting kicked on. But you get out of the car anyway. Why? Because he's your boy. Yep. And that's what today's topic matter is. Your boy. You're reliving old stories from the Jersey Shore? Oh, shoot. We were punching deer, more like that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I know what. I kind of know where he's going with this. And oh, I do know where he's going with yeah. this. Um, here's the thing. You're going to have that handful of people. I'm going to call it a handful. Sure. It may be one, but it could be a handful. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. It could maybe one, maybe two, maybe a handful. I mean, whatever the case may be. But um, it goes back to the same thing. Birds with feather flock together, all that fun stuff. But you're only going to have that core group or person. He's a thousand percent correct. The caveat of what he's saying is, is that when people try to say they are that, and then you find out they're not. not. Okay? That could be a real painful lesson in what you've described. Absolutely. Or how many people are that, but for personal gains, because there's like a... Yeah, but I, I don't think he's talking about personal gain. I think he's talking about what he's... I'm thinking of a bunch of like people a, who like think they are there, yeah, and but they're, not. they're really not there. And watch it. And that's okay, yeah. but you're not there. You're not there. You Listen, you talk about a rule set is what he's talking about. There's a rule set to that type of group. And if you don't truly don't understand what that rule set is, then it's okay. You don't have to be part of the group. But you can't be part of the group and then all of a sudden not like what's going on and change the rules halfway through. Or think you can because it just causes a disturbance in the force. There's a disturbance <laughs> in the force. So, you know? so how, any advice to like people getting married to like navigate these waters here? Like, I don't think it's the about book marriage. of Smitty. The book of Smitty's. The book. Hey, we're talking marriage. Yeah, just the I book of Smitty. Because that, I could have. So we could do a whole <laughs> episode. Do you, you still have it, right? I have it. Somebody what is it? The Book of Mormon. What is it? No, it's just a rule the set book, for marriage. It's higher than the Book of Mormon. <laughs> That's a great book. We'll come it's back. A, we'll yeah. come back and do an episode <laughs> on that. We, th- th- that should be our next episode. <laughs> Um, it should be a mad chat first. Oh, forget it. But well, what about the forget Sicilian it. handbook on marriage? The Sicilian handbook the, on marriage? There's, there's, only, one, there's only one page. It's the back end. <laughs> <laughs> it's the back page. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't think Chris, what Chris is alluding to is marriage. It's not. That's, no. that's, no, that's no, not yet. I'm just saying, if, um, you know, sometimes guys get married and their wives don't like their friends that they're really tight It's going to happen all the time. I'm sure there's plenty of people yeah. whose their wives don't like me. You know? And that's fine. But the point being is... I know for the 99% of the guys I'm, that we're describing, they do like me, you know, and they aren't detained by me and maybe love me. Who knows? But it's a positive experience. They get me and they get the understanding, and it's getting one another. The problem is, uh, yeah, yeah, it has to do with the whole get, get. Exactly. If you get the person, see, and he and I have gotten each other for quite some time, so that way when you get somebody, you know what they're going to do, you know what their expectations are, Correct. and if they're acting abnormal, and it could be completely... His abnormal to, to, to somebody could be complete normalcy to somebody else. Like, his normalcy to me is abnormal, I'm sure, to everybody else. Correct. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And vice versa. And vice versa. But that's just the way it is. And if, if you don't understand that, you're never going to truly get him or us. Correct. If that makes sense. And that's why, that's why, again, you know, when you walk into a certain area or a place... Again, it's not a place of arrogance. I'm being completely, I'm being com- completely humble when I say this. The Red Sea parts, because people don't get it, and no, and no, we're going to react a certain way, and no, we don't want to be bothered, and we do, because you know why? It's just not worth it. And it goes back to like, like w- what he said is that listen, if you're going to get offended, you know, don't hang and bang with us for X amount of time. Then all of a sudden, you get offended by something that we've done to you a thousand times already. Right. That's not okay. So you're not one of us. No, you're you're not. not in the group. You, li- you may like us, but you're not in the group. You don't have that understanding. You don't get it. You know. You don't have the ability. And, and, the, and the other parts of abilities of getting it, like Chris says, is talking one another off a cliff. Because we're all a special brand of retard. Absolutely. I'm the first one to say that. And the bottom line is, that's another skill and, and, set. You, and, and here's the other thing. If you have that one friend... Or a couple friends. Correct. There's only a couple guys that can truly walk you off that cliff. That's right. If you're getting ready to fall off that cliff, you need somebody or a couple people to say, hey, stop. So You're right here. You're dangling. And I'm not going to let you crawl back into your box and get crazy. Because we all know what, the bo- what happens when you get in the box. Yeah. So which one of you is the Henry Hill character? And which one of you is the Joe Pesci character? I'm definitely Henry Hill and he's Joe Pesci because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. I'm going to say this. I'm going to help him out, but he's the crazy one. Yeah. I'm going to say that that is a bullshit statement. Okay. I'm going to say the role reverses. There are times. Yeah, yes, no question. I don't disagree. I don't. I, I like the analogy. Okay. But it one time, sometimes I'm Henry Hill, and sometimes he's Joe Pesci. You know, or Ray Liotta. Just, just both you know, are. Yeah. You know, needed. he's Hen I'm Henry and he's Tommy and vice versa. Right. I mean, that's and you need it. You know what I mean? It, that's that's what happens. But they're both there. It just depends. And, and they have a level of craziness to themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both have a level of craziness. I mean, you know, if you want to take excerpts from the movie, like Henry's a much more methodical guy. He's out there. You know, he's not, he has nothing to prove. But then, you know, someone disrespects his girlfriend. He goes there and pistol whips the guy <laughs> in broad daylight in public. You mean so? There's there's the retard there's, there's coming the, out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a retard coming out. So it's a great analogy, Peter. But it it depends on what's going on. The other part of it is also having an understanding of knowing those creatures live within you. Oh yeah. So that's the biggest thing. You don't be you you can be reactionary at times. There's no doubt about it. But knowing that that creature's there and that's the, that's the personality. That's that's a part of your personality that's out right now. So that's but more importantly, I mean. dude, we live in a certain realm. We leave that realm to, to be part of a normal society. Correct. I would much rather walk around shooting people and hitting people and running people over with my car than I would driving regularly in traffic when people piss me off. Right. But the reality is we exit the world that we prefer to live in to be able to have a normal life. <laughs> Why are you looking at me so weird? It's the truth. No, we definitely. You want the asshole? Thank you so much, because he's been sitting in the back closet for too fucking long, and I want. I've been I'll wanting to bring off. him out. I've off. been wanting to bring him out. My wife keeps telling me don't bring him out. The police tell you don't bring him out. Everyone tells you don't bring him out, and finally, you act stupid enough to guess what? Let him go. One of my favorite. Uh video clips to explain that scenario is that um, Christopher Walken clip where he's talking about the lion it's oh, too yeah. hot and oh, yeah. Yeah. Out. Yeah. we did a video on my on his myself. tail yeah. and yeah. the jackals come in and everybody starts shutting shit and then sometimes you gotta remind people why, why you're, you're the lion, lion. Yeah, you're the lion you know Absolutely. and again and people watch go, oh, those guys you know, they're, they're, they think they're being cocky they're being arrogant they're doing no we're not I, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart being reaction being reaction but also understanding what you're dealing with and just so you know is that this isn't about fighting people or being no, combative. Yeah, it's not kidding. about it's not about that stuff. But I was kidding. Listen, sometimes no, but I will tell you this much. Sometimes violence is the only answer. Sometimes violence isn't it is, is part of the answer. And I'm not being facetious. I'm being I'm being completely straight Why? when I say that. I you know? agree with you. Um, and, and the fact of the matter is is that it goes back to something we talk about all the time. We're okay. Until we, we react to your bullshit. Right. And then, because our reaction isn't something you, you've ever been prepared for, <laughs> we're the assholes. Right? right? But meanwhile, you knew. You, you knew. know what you're dealing with. But did you And you even warned. We yeah. told you. We told this you. is how we are. Right. We try not to be this way. Right. But this but, is how we can be. But if you be. truly step over the line and elicit that reaction, then, you, then, we're, and then we're the bad guys? No. Do you think uh, guys who criticize you are really envious and want to be like you guys? Yes. You they don't. Mean that. I mean that. I don't mean that from a place of arrogance. I mean they don't have the they don't have the intestinal fortitude. Yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily think it's to be no. individually. No, us, not at all. I think. I mean, I have to have the balls. Eyes, though, and nice no, hair. but I mean the, the to have the balls to like be who they really want to be, to take the chances that they really want to take, right. to say the things. I mean, I remember that one podcast where you were sitting there like, you guys have businesses. You really want to say these fucking things? Like this is how they really believe. Granted, look, don't get me wrong. Sometimes we say shit just for a fact. Right. It's funny. Oh yeah, yeah you want to you know, get a rise out of people. I know? never picked that up. But, uh, <laughs> but also, but also, you know, we, we you do have your beliefs and you have your uh, steadfast <clears throat> points and and uh, you know, get Listen, there's, there. there's no like just a. It's part of who we are, but we're also Doctor Seattle and Doctor Shea. You know, non Doctor Frank. And, 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 and once the Doctor Hack goes on. Yeah. You're going to get Dr. Shea and Dr. Hyde. Listen, Tyler. I had... Not going to get yes. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hey, <laughs> Dr. Jekyll yeah. and Mr. I mean, Shea. That's, there's that's, some, that's there's correct. Some, there's some truth to it, though. But it's no different than when I'm, I'm mentoring some boys right now who are interning with me. You know, they're in college, they're playing ball, and they were at my desk on Friday, and we were having a big talk about their future and what they want to do and the education, and then, you know, uh, the PT walked in and was like, hey, 
I want to do so such and such on this patient. What did you like? And I stopped dead in my tracks. I'm like, no, patient needs to have x-rays, patient needs this, patient needs that. And I went to this whole other tangent and they just looked at me and they went and they started going like this. And I said, you see guys, that's what it's about. You have to be able to be to, to react and problem solve on a, on a dime. And that's what it comes down to. It's, there's many layers to the onion. Absolutely. You know what I mean? There's many layers to the onion. You know, we hope this year we're going to show you guys more of that. You know, but this is a, it, it's definitely what he's talking about, what we're talking about today. This is, this is a true facet of who we are. There's no doubt about it. And in today's society and the softness of today's society and social media and all stuff, people think they can get away with being a fucking asshole. And they're also you know? trying to get rid of people like us. Yeah. And I tell, I tell mm -hmm. people all the time, I said, listen, you, at the end of the day, this country was formed on people like us. Correct. You want us there. Trust me. Mm -hmm. When the shit hits the fan, you don't want a bunch of people walking around having discussion. You want, remember the meme that you actually made up? What was it? That sometimes you, sometimes you want the, the doubt. No, what was it? I, oh, sometimes you, like, it's one of my favorite quotes. Yeah. You know, and, and, I, and I took it from Rambo. Yeah. I took it from the last Rambo movie that Stallone did. And it's when, if you guys remember the scene, it was the SAS guy talking on the boat and they're going to rescue these people. Right. And he says, yeah. He goes, I've done X, Y, and Z. He goes, but then what do they do? They call the devil to do God's work. That's it. You know, and that's something I've, I've related to my whole life. It's like, you know what? You don't want me until you need me. Yeah. And then when you do, need to me, to be that guy. You, you want, you want that guy. You want that guy. That's you want that guy. That's and that's what stops guys who are skilled in violence are good men who are, or what stops bad men who, are, who do violence is good men good who are men skilled, do, do, do skilled in violence. Right. Yeah. You know, and it's, again, it's not about the, it's not about the violence. It's about the mindset. So, like, trust me, I have everyone from... It can be a talking to, it, yeah, can be, it doesn't have yes, to necessarily yes. be, a, a, you, know, you know, a conflict. A, con, you know, a physical, physical, physical conflict, conflict. But yeah. Even um, in a historical sense, my, my father's from the old country and, you know, told me a lot of stories, but let's say that the underground during a war, during a resistance, who were, you know, some of the guys they used, they weren't Boy Scouts. They had oh. they guys who were tough thugs. Right. And they put a death sentence on someone who was doing bad shit to people with the Nazis and that's who they got to do it, and that's what that's how it was. Well, Peter, you're you're more of a history buff than I am, and I I, I claim to be a slight one. What did the U.S. government do with the mafia at the ports? Mm -hmm. Right, World War, World War II. II. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They went to Luciano and said, Luciano. "You need to make sure nobody's you know coming into our country. You yeah. need to you run the docks." Yep. So what they do? They went and got the devil. Yeah, to do God. God's work, yeah. and they, even though they're That's they're true. like they're 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 criminals, they still love the country. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they don't want anyone. Listen, you fuck our country up, we can't do our legal business. <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's a give and a take. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. like. It's, that's kind of how I related myself to a lot of situations because it's happened to me. It continues to happen. You know, everyone from my family to my friends. How about just me? I'll call, I'll, 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 I'll be on the phone for like 45 minutes to an hour trying to get something done. And I'll be like, I'll just hang up because it's not happening. Yeah. And I'll, I'll call Paul. I'll go, Paul, listen, here's my social security number. Here's my driver's license number. These are the questions they're going to ask you. you know, my mother's maiden name is Salazi. Just pretend like you're me and please handle this. Thank you. Is that twosies? <laughs> I'm like, please, how many times have I said to you, it ain't, I, I can't get it to happen. Can you please just call them, tell them you're me, and fix this? He's like, okay. Yep, but they, they, they should be processing your credit card right now. They're returning the money. You're all set. Thank you. I'm like, okay, buddy, yeah. thanks. Bye. And, the, and, and I do the same thing. <laughs> where there's certain situations where I know the asshole's going to come out. The shortcoming's not going to. The shortcoming's going to destroy the message. That, that I keep in the debt, I keep in the locked up. I know me, and I'm like, you gotta handle this because so I don't you know, want to handle it. I mean, so I've done it with Frank too. You gotta handle it because I'm not. I, I I'm not gonna be able to. I, I'm man enough to admit, with all of my talents, that is not a talent. Yeah. <laughs> that is a detriment to the success I want to have. Correct. So I'm gonna pass it on. I'm gonna delegate, and that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Delegate the authority. Not, not to you know um, aggravate you guys, but I had actually had people ask me. I didn't know guys like this really existed. Are they for real? Are they putting on an act? This can't be true in today's day and age. And I said, no, no, it's real. I mean, this, this is who these guys are, you know? But we're not from this day and age either. Let's no. be honest, it's 1950 in my house. Me too. Yeah, we did that one. Yeah, yeah. no. But <laughs> so, he's just, I mean, he's so, right, though. And I come from a different generation, and I'm still, oh, I'm, I guess, old school. I'm not, I'm not messing around. I teach my kids to be exactly the way I am. They may, they, they may water it down a little bit because they are living in this generation. But guess what? 
at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, when you got to draw a line in the sand, my boys are going to react exactly the way. Hell, my daughter's going to react but so exactly the way this, I'm reacting. And I know yours too. To bring it back to the subject matter, because you know you have somebody like this you can confide in, you trust, that knows you know is going to be there when you need him, or vice versa, and knows also going to tell you when you're doing something wrong to help you improve. Do you think? That is still out there today. Do you think there is less of it? If there is less of it, why do you think there is? Like, what is that an old school trait? Like, I believe it's an old school trait. I agree. With I that. think there's a lot less of it. I see. I, I even talked to my own. I sons. feel like there's a lot of people who hold relationships or friendships of convenience. Absolutely, I agree 100 percent what you're saying. No, it is absolutely. It's definitely about who can get what. There's no. It's a matter of what can I take. From that person, you know what? But we're also raising our everyone's these yeah. these. I don't know what's going on, but they're raising their kids differently. Society is molding these right. children down a path where friendships are forged through text messages and social media. There's no interaction. There's no togetherness anymore. So you can't build that bond. We well, you know what was really interesting to me. I was uh, listening to it because you know I'm I'm crazy about podcasts. So I'll forget TV. I'll just go on podcast tangent. They're talking about how there's a study now um, that shows when. You know, kids go out to play, and there's a teacher or a parent that mitigate mitigates what's going on. The kids actually don't learn what they need to. Whereas if they oh, go out, there's no trial and error. And, yeah. and, yeah. and they and make just mistake, try and see They what will happens. actually manage themselves. Somebody, Better. Yeah. Whereas like another kid will be more likely to stand up for somebody who's getting picked on. Whereas if there's an adult there, they'll kind of leave it in their hands. Yeah. I must wonder if that plays. The social well. dynamic is completely altered now. Absolutely. Hundred percent. It's uh. I agree with you. Is the change. That's it. I agree with you. That's all you got. <laughs> I, 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 I'm in trouble, but Jesus Christ. No, sorry. Um, yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm even scared to say I read uh, Ernest Hemingway the other night, short story. Yeah, that's, that's making me uncomfortable. Well, listen, oh, no, no, right. no, no, no. It's a short, happy life of Francis McComer. So, hunting in Africa, he's with his wife. His wife's a bitch. She's, down, she's controlling him, masculates him. He starts to learn to hunt. At first he's a coward, then it changes, then he's into it. Then he's like, fuck this, I'm a man, he's going to leave her. And she kills him at the end by accident, by shooting him instead of the buffalo that was going at him. Right. And then the hunter said, you should just poison him, that's what they do in England. Like, you know, do you have to really do that to him? You know, he finally became a man. He finally became the person you were looking for. And he was going to kick her out and leave her. Yeah. And, um, sorry guys, but... Oh, I mean, I don't know how that could be offensive to anybody. It's, well, it's, it's say, literature. It, 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 you know, Hemingway that, that, was making a point. You know, right. he's mimicking life. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I, I, I think a lot of people also, is they take themselves out of the pressure cooker, you know, or they create the bubble, you know, like they, they, they live in these bubbles. Hmm. You know, listen, I live in a bubble too, only because I don't want to react. I don't want to interact. I don't, I've, I've actually done it more so in the last couple of years than ever. Where like, I'm cool with who I got around. I'm not interested. Like you I, say, I don't need any more friends. I, I, you, you, I, I'm going to coin your phrases. I'm not interested. I, to be perfectly honest, I am not interested. As a matter of fact, I find it that I'm even people who were I was connected with. I'm, I'm, I'm setting them free too. You know, over certain things and situations and whatnot. And guess what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I, I'm, okay. I'm good with it. I'm not losing sleep over it. I can tell you right now. I'm not. You know, um, but. At the same time, I insulate myself because I don't want to be exposed. I don't want to be triggered. I don't want. I don't want it. You don't want to be triggered. I don't so want to be triggered. Not worth it, man. I, it's I have not a business. I have a family. I have. You know, we have, we all do here. We all have are these things that are important to us. Um, so we protect who we are, and that's what this is about. This is who. This is who the fuck we are. So that's what's more important to me than any of that stuff. So I will remove myself. Okay, because guess what? I know you're weak. I know you can't. You're not going to handle what we're going to You're not going to handle it. So you know Your what? Your feelings and will get hurt. And that's okay. I'm good with that. So what do I do? I, as, a, as a courtesy to the public, I, I keep myself out of it. I draw back. I draw back. I, and I'm, and not I'm, like a bow and arrow. draw back. And I'm not an introvert in, in any way, shape, or form. I just stay, I stay out of a certain, <laughs> I stay out of certain, <laughs> you know, areas. Yeah. You know, geographically, politically, you name it. I just stay out of it because, hey, each to his own, man. Like you said a thousand times. Go live your life. Just stay the fuck out of mine. Because right. you know guess what? To coin your phrase, I got a black belt in fucking up parties. <laughs> <laughs> I do. We both do. You have one too. I, trust me. I, I, have, I, will, I Again, and I don't want to do that. I really don't. So if you hang out, if you, if, if you, like I said, to, to circle back, if you have that one boy or those couple friends that you know you, uh, you, you're not getting judged and everything's going to be good, that's what you go. And, and for me, it's here. It's here at, at, at World Gym. So, any advice to people who are don't 
And our you better find one because if God forbid this shit ever hits the fan, you need a bud who's not who's not going to judge you, who's going to be there for you, what right or wrong. Well, period. I think steps of long to do. Advice that. is this: first and foremost, make sure you fucking trust yourself. Because I think the biggest issue most of the time these days are most people can't rely on themselves. They can't tell themselves the truth. And they usually surround themselves with people who tell them what they want to hear. And that is nothing but a slow death. That's right. Because you're not going to grow. No. Growth is uncomfortable. And you got to get used to being uncomfortable. Uh, you know, plain and simple. And the greater message to this is, is this. Is that we're not, you know, we're not branding poor behavior that it's okay. Because everyone's going to make mistakes and everyone's going to have poor behavior at times. It can be looked at the wrong way because you're aggressive or you're, you know, whatever. And that's too bad. But more importantly, what it comes down to is this. If anyone here stepped out of line, we have enough common sense to know that. What Chris is describing is we would never, ever show that to outsiders. Correct. I could be a thousand percent wrong. And he knows it and he knows it. But in, the, in a public situation or a private situation, you have his he back. would never show anything but support for me, even if I'm a thousand times wrong. But I can tell you what, because it's happened. <laughs> Later on, when we're alone, it's a whip the dog session. Hey, it's San a, Gino, yeah, it's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but it's, well, you never tell people outside the family what you're thinking. <laughs> exactly. It's part of that. But more importantly, it's, I liked it, <laughs> but I enjoyed it, but... Don't ever do that shit again. <laughs> you were wrong. Right. You were fucking wrong. Don't ever do that shit again. Okay? That's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. And that's what it comes down to. And people, maybe there's other groups that have that we, what, what all of us have here. Well, but I, I think part of it, because we're going to wrap up real soon, is to have a, a location like this. Jiu-Jitsu, a sport, a martial art, a it's lifestyle. Great. Well, it's greater than that. Where, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know that, it's, that, it's, that it's bigger than that. It yeah. brings you around people, listen, right? Real men like Frank Seattle. Everybody, Facts. listen, everybody that comes, like I said, it goes back to the birds of feather flock together, but it's greater than that. And people will gravitate to those things. And to your point, Peter, yeah, most people that kind of react like we do like those things. Absolutely. People that don't, don't train they don't do things but again it's not about training it's just about that mindset it's about you know what he said it's getting the person and understanding what your crew is there it is if you're not you can't be in the crew and know there's rule one to 100 and you are okay with rule one to 99 you're not in the crew and this is not you're a not, toxic masculinity no thing it's not no. i'd like to note that my mother and a group of women raised me. She had a bigger dick and balls than and the other men, men in my life. Men, men so, right. so understand that this is a product of a female, of a strong, independent woman. It's not an egotistical man no. thing. Been around many and, strong. And women. also, animals behave the same way, meaning they they're in packs, this and that. Sure, of course it, they it's, are. It's, it's There's a side. reason There's why a reason. the younger, like in a wolf pack, they protect the older wolves. That's why the alpha stays in the back mm -hmm. of the pack mm -hmm. to watch. Everything that's going on in the front so he can react first right away to what's going on. So with that, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Great episode. The Match App Podcast. Paul Seattle, Christopher Shea, Frank Seattle, Peter Olbrook. We're going to see you next time. Boom! Get your wolf pack. <laughs> <laughs>